Are you thinking about putting your home on the market this spring? If so, you may have had this question kind of cross your mind perhaps, and that's if whether or not you should get a pre-listing inspection before you put your home on the market. Hi, I'm Megan Thrasher with the Drewer team of eXp Realty, and in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and go through what a pre-listing inspection is, reasons maybe why as a seller you may want to get a pre-listing inspection, and reasons why maybe you don't want to. And hopefully by the end of this video, you have a good idea of which direction you will want to go in as a seller putting your home on the market this spring. Be sure to like this video, help me out with this YouTube algorithm thing. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel. You know, if you like content like this, want to know all things real estate, lifestyle stuff, and if you just even vibe with me, subscribe to my channel. And yeah, hit that bell notification as well. So that way you can be notified of every time that I upload. With all of that being said, let's jump in to the video. So I want to start off by going over what a home inspection is, what a pre-listing inspection is, and then we'll get into reasons why or why not maybe you would want to get one as a seller. So typically in a standard transaction, standard real estate transaction, the buyer is the one to get the home inspection, and that is typically after the fact that you go under contract with them. A home inspection is just basically just a professional assessment of the home, really checking out everything from top to bottom, roof to basement, foundation, HVAC, electric, appliances, everything. They're looking at the home all together. It's, an, it's like an x-ray of the home and you get a report at the end of it that gives you the overall condition of the property. So again, buyers typically are the ones to get the inspection when you go under contract, but as a seller, you do have that option to get what we call a pre-listing inspection. And essentially what that just is, is the same thing as a home inspection that a buyer would get, but you as a seller are getting the pre-listing inspection exactly like that before you list. A pre-listing inspection can provide sellers with more control over the whole inspection process. It can give you a very good idea of the condition of your home and it can put you as a seller in a really good position with negotiations. So if you're a seller, why should you do a pre-listing inspection? Well, again, you're going to get a report of the condition of your home. And what this is going to do is lay out everything for you as a homeowner of things that need to be possibly repaired to the home. Maybe bring forth really important or urgent issues that your home has, and those things may you may want to address before putting your house on the market. Now, why can that be good? Well, it can be good because it can really help with the marketing of your home. So if you have a pre-listing inspection and the inspector finds issues with your roof or issues with the electric, you can go ahead and get ahead of the game, make those repairs, and then when you go to list their, your home, make sure that you know that the potential buyers that are coming through looking at your home know that you have made these repairs to the home. Maybe you updated the electric. Maybe you did some roof repairs. Maybe you tuned up your HVAC. Those are all really good beneficial things that a buyer is looking for. Buyers love to see a home that has been well-maintained and in good condition. They want to move into homes that are move-in ready and won't cost them a lot of money to maybe do their own upkeep and their own maintenance. They Buyers typically don't want to move into homes that are money pits. So making these repairs ahead of time, having a good idea of the property condition can allow you to really get ahead of the game and really market your house to its fullest potential. A pre-listing inspection can help to uncover significant problems as well. And knowing these significant issues prior to listing your home, again, if you repair them, really great marketing tools, but also, knowing any significant issues with your home or even just smaller repairs as well and making sure those repairs are resolved before putting your house on the market will help you as a seller throughout the home inspection process when the buyer does their own. You probably won't have any surprises come up in the buyer's inspection when they do their own because you already did yours. You already resolved those major issues or maybe even the smaller issues. So when the buyer does their own inspections, you're not going to have any big surprises along the way because all of that has already been 
taken care of and resolved. Also getting a pre-listing inspection can be beneficial for a seller because now that you have this whole report and this document of the condition of your home that you just had done, you can provide that to potential buyers and that could result in potentially the buyer waiving inspections entirely. Because you already have had these inspections done, the buyers have a whole report laying out the condition of the home and, and any, any repairs that need to be done to the home or any significant issues with the home is all laid out there in front of the buyers. And this could result again in them choosing to waive inspections entirely. That's great for a seller because it takes out one less contingency and one less risk of a buyer terminating the contract and walking away from purchasing your home. Now, of course, when you do a pre-listing inspection and have that report, you as a seller, you have the control on whether or not you want to share that report or not. And it's very situational. So make sure that you are talking with your real estate advisor to figure out whether or not sharing that report with potential buyers is the right choice for you and your situation. So let's go ahead and talk about some downfalls to a pre-listing inspection. And one of those being that anything that comes up in the pre-listing inspection, now you should either repair or maybe disclose of, especially since they are latent defects. So understand that when you get the pre-listing inspection, if you are are not wanting to do any repairs to your home, just know that if you discover any issues on the home, then those issues will now need to be disclosed of to potential buyers. Now keep in mind though, that more than likely a buyer is going to do their own inspection. So if there are any major issues with their home, more than likely those will come up in their own home inspections. Another con to getting a pre-listing home inspection is definitely the fact that you may be making more work for yourself. And depending on what kind of market we're in, you may not even want to do the pre-listing inspection because if the competition is stiff, more than likely buyers will either waive inspections entirely or they're going to buy the house as is, or they're not gonna ask for many repairs anyways because of the competition that a seller market brings. Also, when you get that pre-listing inspection, again, we're uncovering issues with the home so you may be making more repairs than what is needed. Again, when the buyer does their own inspections, they will have a list of repairs that they will send to the seller and request to be made. That list may look different from the list that you would have done from your pre-listing inspection. So sometimes it's better just to let this, the buyers do their own inspections and tell you what they would like done to the house. And then the last con that I have for you guys today with the pre-listing inspection is probably the most obvious one and that's that it will cost you money. So just like any other home inspection, they cost money and they cost several hundred dollars. I would budget around $500, give or take, depending on the company you go with, depending on what type of inspections you also decide to get. But if we're looking at just a general property inspection, you're looking at around $500 for that inspection to be taken care of. I wanna go over the benefits and the downfalls now, just to recap of getting a pre-listing home inspection. The three benefits to getting a pre-listing inspection is definitely the marketing. The marketing that you can do if you do major repairs to the home or even smaller repairs in general to the home, that is really going to look attractive to serious buyers. Two is knowing the condition of the home so when a buyer does if they do decide to do their own home inspection, you more than likely won't have any surprises come up in that home inspection because you've already disclosed of them or you've already taken care of them. And lastly, the third benefit to getting a pre-listing inspection is if you choose to provide that inspection to the buyers, they may decide to waive inspections entirely, taking out the whole inspection contingency, saving you time. The three cons to doing a pre-listing inspection would be that you would now need to disclose of any blatant defects that are discovered in a pre-listing in inspection, especially if you choose not to repair them. Secondly is you may end up making more work for yourself, doing more repairs than maybe what is necessary, or maybe the buyer wouldn't even request repairs because depending on the market that you're in, if you're in a seller's market, the competition is more stiff. Buyers are going to maybe ask less with the whole repairs in the whole home inspection thing. And then lastly, 
money. You're going to have to spend money in order to get a home inspection done and then obviously spend money on getting repairs done too if you choose. That is a pre-listing inspection in a nutshell. Those are the benefits. Those are the downfalls to getting a pre-listing inspection. I really hope this video helped you figure out whether or not getting a pre-listing inspection is the right fit for you before listing your home. If you have any questions, if you're still trying to figure out what way is great for you, reach out to me. I am more than happy to help you figure that out. With all of that being said, thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye guys.